Hi guys, it's Kara once again. Welcome to my channel. I hope everybody is well. I am uh, in front of us is um, my Repsalis. I have repotted this. I did. I <laughs> well, it was in a video, but then I forgot to record it. So I was talking, talking, talking by myself and I have done it and finished anyway so yeah so this is my ripsalis casota i have had this plant since uh, 2018 yeah i tried my best to put some dates and name when did i purchase it so um it was from this spot i don't know if you probably believe me so i have repotted this plant before and it was transferred from this to this next size so yeah, it's quite a lovely, lovely plant. I have um, I decided to repot this because the roots are just coming out from the old pot. So this plant has not flowered for me. I just was hoping that um, if I'll change something, I'll make it uh, slightly different from where it was and how I, you know, I think it's the position where it was, probably that's one of the reason. So I'll try my um, different tactics. Is that the word? Yeah. 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 Different ways in how, where I place them. Um, so I'm trying. I'll do that and hopefully it will flower. So Repsalis, it's um, a cactus family. So this kind of Repsalis casotas, no, I haven't seen any. Um, hmm, what's this? Uh, spine or, you know, the they typical cactus. So maybe there is, I'm not so sure. And I do wish that it would flower for me. I have used a not so, um, you know, not so gritty or or uh, mixed uh, like what I do with my cactus and what I have used for this plant is um, lumbe soil and some of perlites so this is the one I have used so when I uh, I don't know if I've said it I have this is my second repot from this plant since I purchased it and that's what I've used it has grown so much it's unbelievable how the way the rate of the growth of this plant it can go so wild like what it is now and with my other repsalis this this other repsalis this is what i'm going to show you in the video now because uh, i was supposed to show you that but obviously they i hope we got no glare of light um yeah supposedly i'll just show you that but the video is gone anyway so this is what i'm going to show you another repsalis of mine and this is um uh, this got some spine um repsalis ceroscola it's been with me for a while and if you see the roots it's from the bottom of the pot so it's disparate repot for this so this is what i'm doing so a mistletoe cactus and epiphytes in nature or some of them are lithophytic is that how you lithophytic you know when they grow on the crocs of the of the um rocks they you know yeah you probably don't know <laughs> so yeah so this is the repot what i did with this plant is i don't really treat them as what i have with my cactus i have few cactus uh with my cactus i don't water them in winter time no water at all zero this one i don't do that i have um, noticed that if i forgot to water this if the soil is totally bone dry they um what's this the branches the needles is it needles yeah, th this, this, yeah, it goes dry up like that and finish off. So I got so many dry things of the 
because I sometimes forgot. Um, I when I reported this, I've noticed that it has um, a very dry, very dry soil. And if I do that, if I leave it as, as you know, bone dry before I water them, there um, I've noticed that they easily dropped those um, things. So, so if ever you you're going to have a plant like this, so try not to uh, leave it bone dry. They don't like to be bone dry. They like to be like lightly moist, but not so wet soils. Um, yeah, in between. This is what would happen. It dries up like that. And that's a new growth. It dries up. If if I look after the, them, like, you know, watch them close like a hawk, it probably been longer by now. So look at that dried and it's trying to grow branches. So, yeah, so it grows another new thing. And in it keep doing that, the growth comes being stagnant. So, yeah, so that's dry up because I forgot to water them. So that's the way the plant it is. So it's branching new things. And this is a new growth. And I hope that I would water it so that it won't dry up. So after I repot, this is already repotted, so... I'm going to water this afterwards after I repot the other one. So I'm going to repot this one. Oh, yeah, my Ciroscola. Um, oh, what's this? Ripsalis. My God, I've lost four words. So this one I've noticed it doesn't grow as vigorous as um, Casota. So I put that tag before I've lost it. So yeah, so it's not as vigorous as the casota. I'm going to um, let's look at that. I'm going to remove this pot from no, I mean the plant from this pot, and I yeah, I probably pause it while I'm doing the repot. I don't know. You probably get bored. Um, watching me doing repot. You probably had enough of watching repot. <laughs> So, yeah. So this plant, since I bought this one, I can't remember now. It's in my record where I buy some plants. So I probably look back and then I'm going to put a date so that I make it sure that um, to know. I just like it. I just like to put dates on my plants when I purchase them um, to see how much it's growth and yeah it's like it's eating the blooming pebbles it won't come out so it it's unlikely that i will not that i will not damage the um the roots so wish me luck anyway so this is the the size the next size of the pots that i'm going to put in this plant and what I put in the bottom, I normally use is my clay pebbles, but because I have uh, um, orchid bark, I have this orchid bark, this is a recycled, this is from the orchids that I have bought and it's totally dry and I recy recycle them for my plants. I just put them on the bottom of my um, pot. It's just that, you know, when to prevent the soil from escaping. I know it will still, but then it reduces, reduces it. So that's what I use. I sometimes use uh, garden um, rocks but i've run out of it so yeah and i have that so why not um you probably will not um do the same practice as i am reuse things but i do i will i do reuse pots as well so what i'm going to do is i put some water i know water um soil from that point because the pot will be that way yeah oh you see 
it's off so So my Repsalis, did I say that I haven't um, managed the water and um, the water? God, I'm talking rubbish to manage to flower this. I don't know if it's old enough to produce flowers, but um, I haven't. So I'm going to make a difference from what I was doing before. You see, it's unlikely that I'm going to damage oh my goodness me right i'm going to cut in between this because i just don't like to damage the root i'll have to boss and i get something i don't like damaging the roots i'll rather damage the um the plastic part oh. right i got my trusted shear oh right let's do this come on Come on, come on, Ghostbuster! Right, I'll have just to cut that off so that um, It's a bad habit, isn't it? Leaving your plant like this. But um, I think um, this is not a new thing to plant lovers, especially if you get lots of plants. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I don't know. So here we are. Nearly there, nearly there. I'm going to cut this off. Uh, if it will let me right that one is off another one's coming that's it off there there we go and that's another one off yeah Strong, lovely roots I have here. So, probably got no more soil in this plant. From the way it looks, it's all it's all roots. So, Ripsalis normally grows in uh, branches of the trees, but sometimes have I already said that? Probably I've said it on my other video, uh, you know, the one I record, the one I, I thought I'm re recorded. So yeah, so normally grows as epiphytes, but some are grows in the crock of the rocks, like le lithophytic. Is that is that how you pronounce it, or maybe I'm talking rubbish, maybe. So a mistletoe cactus. It, this cactus, uh, this plant should be more. Um, it should be more uh, popular to men, especially Christmas time. Huh? You should buy this plant everywhere, and then hang it up everywhere in your house. <laughs> yeah, mistletoe cactus. I want mine to flower. I don't know. If you have any input, if you have this plant and you have yours to flower, and if you don't mind sharing your thoughts, I do appreciate it. Right, there you go. Oh my golly gosh. So they're all, all covered with, yeah. Here we are. So I'm not going to disturb this plant. So I'm just going to put them in there. And yeah, and that's it. I like that. Oh, so it's a bit too much soil. Yeah. 
yeah and yeah it's the next size up so i'm going to uh, put some soil around it and um i don't think you'll be interested looking at watching that so i'll have to pause this video so that um you won't be bored right guys i'm nearly finished so i have to put this on so that um yeah i have put them now in there so I'm, I'm nearly finished with it so i just putting some a bit of soil inside i've used my plastic spoon this is what i have you can probably know this it's uh, from you know when you order uh plants take uh, plants food takeaway and then they put some spoon plastic spoon and and I kept them and that's how I've used it. Just stop it a little bit and nearly there. So so my soil is not really for um what's this? It's not really for the cactus because I know it's a cactus part of the cactus family but if you treat it like you have I treat my cactus if I treat this the way I treat my cactus it's probably be dead so yeah right I think that's it for now I have a bit of space space there to put my water in I do not put a soil up to the rim of the uh, pot it's because when you water it so that the water could be stay there and then drain out because if you put the soil on the top of your pot and then when you water it it'll be dripping out so yeah that's uh maybe some of you knows that already but just a reminder quick reminder so, um, yeah, so that's the plant I have. I, um, yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. And it's going to be Mother's Day, I think, on the weekend. So I would say advance happy Mother's Day. Well, Mother's Day, isn't it beautiful? A word mother is beautiful, I would say. It's the one, it's, it's, the most beautiful word I would um, say a mother it's like when you say mother it's like comfort it's like um, you feel safe it's like it's there you know feel like you're at home and you feel safe that's what it is it's like because just what I say a home is a word um, that could relate to you feeling safe and secure, isn't it? So yeah, so a mother. Well, I would say the most beautiful word is the word mother. I, yeah. So there you go, guys. I hope you have enjoyed my video. So this is the plant. And I'm going to slightly water this. I have re-watered this. The soil was still slightly wet and i will water that one and this one i'm gonna water thoroughly so there you go guys i hope you have enjoyed my video and i hope to see you soon and you do all take good care and don't forget to wash your hands i don't wear gloves some people wear gloves i would suggest that you wear gloves i got sometimes got eczema but this is what I do. I don't feel comfortable using gloves when I do my repotting or doing plants. Sometimes I do. So yeah, so thank you guys very much for your time and I hope you have a lovely day and God bless. Bye for now. Bye. Oh, one thing I forgot. If you haven't subscribed and yeah, likes and subscribe to this video. Thank you. Bye.